northwestern Poland, known as the Pomerania region. The town looks onto the estuary of a river only five kilometers away from the Baltic Sea and is one of the most ancient towns of the area. Thanks to its geographical position and its proximity to the sea, it became a fortress town in the 9th century and soon after the year 1000, it became the capital of the West Pomerania. In the past, a forest covered the plains of this entire area. Only wetlands and sand dunes were not covered by forest. Then as agriculture and human settlements spread, cultivated lands boosted. But nowadays the forest stretches over huge areas again and is rich in fauna, foxes, wild boars, roe deer and the great red deer. Being in such a strategic point of Central Europe, this area was conquered over the centuries by many populations, Dutch, Swedish, and Prussian. Only after World War II, Pomerania became part of Poland. Today, tourism is what makes Kamian Pomorski such an attractive town. Apart from historical sites, the Cayman Bay, the river, and the lake attract yachtsmen and fishermen while lots of bathers from Northern Europe are attracted by its beaches. And during the summer, many farms turn into guest houses to accommodate the increasing number of tourists. In this town of 10,000 inhabitants, several historical sites are proof of the different dominations, such as the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, built in 1175 under the Dutch domain. Over the centuries, its architecture changed according to the influence in styles, first Gothic, then Baroque. At the beginning, it was a Lutheran church, then it was turned into an evangelical one. Only after World War II did it become a Catholic church. In the 19th century, the increase in wool demand caused the reduction of the woodland, as sheep needed new grazing areas. But at the end of that century, sheep farming was abandoned, and the grazing lands became woodlands again. After World War II, due to the changes in the Polish economy, the woodlands extended, and undoubtedly will continue to do so thanks to a Parliament Act issued a few years ago regarding reforestation of the rural areas. We are in Poland, at about three hours driving distance from Berlin, close to a town called Szczecin, which is a very famous tourist destination for its wonderful sea. In fact, in summer it is full of tourists. Here on this side is a wonderful forest where we are about to go to hunt red deer. We are with Bartos, the outfitter, the person in charge of organizing hunting in this area. And now he will tell us something about hunting. Bartos, can you tell me something about the red deer hunt here? Okay, uh, the red deer uh, are mainly active during the, the night. So uh, basically the first uh, hunt is in the, in the morning, early in the morning. It started at five and uh, you go until, uh, until the light. Uh, you hunt until 8, 8.30, uh, then come back for, for a big Polish breakfast. And uh, the hunters, they rest for, the, for some time. And we go back in the evening. And in the evening it starts again at 5. Uh, and uh, you wait until, until you can see something. Uh, it's much better with a full moon, oh. because it's... Uh, it's much more, you have much more time to, to, to stay in the forest and wait for the, for the deer and if you're lucky sometimes you, you can also shoot a wild boar, oh. a, a pretty nice tusker. Because uh, I know this area is very rich of animals. That's really yes, uh, there are many, many wild boars. Uh, the clubs around this area, they shoot, uh, the average would be 300 wild boars per year, oh. so it's quite a lot. Also, the, the red deer, it's, a, it's a quite a big population of red deer in this area. Uh, we 
we have here the, the European red deer. Uh, and there are, there are four, four kinds of European red deer in Poland. The Bieszczady red deer, which is the most biggest. Uh, it, it lives in the south. We also have the Mazurian uh, in, a, in a lake uh, region in Poland. And then uh, around this area we have the uh, Pomorski, uh, Pomorski red deer, which is uh, which is uh, the, the, the smallest one, I must say, mm -hmm. because the average uh, trophy uh, would be around five kilo. Uh, of course, if you're lucky, you can meet a, a bigger one. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes up to even ten kilos. But uh, the average trophy would be around five. Okay. And you also told me that uh, I mean, red deer are yeah, very scared. They go out only at the early in the morning <coughs> and late in the evening because there is people in, in the forest going for mushrooms and other stuff. So exactly. Ready. When when the when the red deer when they have the rat season, uh, it's also the the high season for mushrooms. So there are a lot of people in uh, in the forest picking up mushrooms. Uh, and of course, the the red deer are very careful and. They are very shy, uh, so they, especially the big stacks, they uh, they stay, uh, they don't show up so so often. So you have to you have to be pretty lucky to to meet a big one. And you have to be very quiet. And very quiet. Okay. Well, it's about time to go hunting. We will be very careful and very quiet. We are in the middle of the season, so let's hope to catch a large stag. Thank Thanks. Thank you. It is dawn, and this morning we are going hunting in Pomerania. We are lucky. Almost immediately, we spot the first deer in the distance. They are too far away. We can only see them by using binoculars, but it is impossible to shoot them. This is the best time to spot them. We have been lucky to spot them, but we can't do anything other than observe them. We can see them only by using powerful telephoto lenses, but in reality, they are only small dots in the distance. The red deer is the largest wild animal of the area. This mighty animal needs huge spaces, and it is not easy to come across one. It leaves the woods at twilight to go cropping grass in the fields and meadows with high nutrition content and then returns back at dawn. This is breeding season. It goes from early September to mid-October and the lonely males join herds of females. Their antlers appear in spring to then grow and shed Every year they grow larger and have more branches than the previous ones. Elder deer antlers have at least 12 tines and the upper part looks like a crown. That's why they are called royal.
our guide decides to approach deer following them into the woods.